Hey guys, welcome to Joe Queen Fishing. Today, I'm going to show you how to uh, put a wrap on your boat. Now, wraps are becoming more and more popular. Uh, I use my wraps to display uh, my fishing channels and you know sponsors, and but wraps don't have to be used for that. You can use them just to spruce up your boat. Uh, I, I get my wraps from VFX. Uh, I'll drop the uh, the uh, link in the in the bio so you guys can check them out too but they have a nice uh, thick wrap and it protects your boats from scratches and stuff so if you ever want to resell it I mean that's that's a plus uh, when you peel these wraps off you got practically a new boat underneath them but <clears throat> I usually choose a, choose a dark color so my uh, sponsor's name will pop off of it so I want it to look basically like my sponsors are kind of floating on top of this dark background. But now this is the only the third boat I've ever done. So I learned a few things on the, on the, the, uh, the second boat that I did. Um, and I'll share that with you. First of all, when you're prepping your boat, I usually like to go over it with a real light solution of, uh, maybe one drop to like 16 ounces of dish liquid in water. I'll go down and I'll spray it down to get all the boat scum off of it and get it cleaned up real good. And then I'll go back over it with denatured alcohol. Uh, now when you're using the denatured alcohol, I like to use a small squirt bottle, which I can't seem to find right now, but uh, a fine misting bottle that goes on really well and you just wipe it back off. Make sure you get any of the excess stuff off of it. And it also uh, helps for your wrap to adhere. So, oh, here's the bottle. This is what I use. And I just go down and spray it down. Now the tape, if you start placing your wrap on, this, this is not going to be an exact placement of, of where the wrap's going to be because you have some play with it when you start going over it. Uh, but I'll space uh, some of the, the, the two inch wide or inch and three quarter, whatever it is, a masking tape, about every 12 to 15 inches. And I will lay the wrap out, you know, about where it's going to go and let it sit there for a bit and uh, to get it ready. Now, also, uh, another good thing to have is a heat gun. Uh, you got to be really careful with these heat guns. If you put too much heat on it, it will it will thin out. Uh, it will also warp and uh, disfigure some of your your sponsor names. And you don't want that to happen. You want to use this as little as possible. Uh, there's going to be times when you might have a small wrinkle that you need to work out. The heat guns are made for that. Try not to do large areas with your sheet, with your heat gun because it will distort, uh, whatever you have printed on here. So by taping it up like that, uh, it gives you some idea how it's going to be on there and how it's going to look and it gets it close to where it's going to be. And uh, it'll save you time in the long run because you won't have to use this thing as much. But it's always good to have these around because you are gonna gonna have some areas because nothing is perfectly flat. Uh, so just apply heat, stay away from it when you're applying the heat. You know, try to stay back about a foot or so, and you'll see uh, the decal actually, or the rack. Your the skin will actually start moving. You'll see it. Uh, so you'll know when to let off of it. But uh, yeah, just use it as little as possible. But anyway, let's get started. Uh, I got this little thing here. This is something that VFX Wraps sent me with their, uh, it's just a small knife to kind of work it in. Uh, it's got some felt on it so it doesn't scrape up your Scrape up your decal, keep your skin nice and clean. So you'll need something like that if you don't get one with your wrap. And that'll keep it from tearing. But the, yeah, okay, let's get started. Now what I'm gonna do here, this, your skin will come with the backing. You'll see it hanging down right here. Now I've removed the first couple pieces of tape here uh, and what I'm going to do is once I separate the skin from the backing, I'm going to pull the backing back a little bit 
Just pull it back a little time and get your skin at a good starting point. And just kind of press it to the uh, to the kayak. Now you see I got a lot right here. What I'm going to do is once I get this laid in pretty close to that light, I'll just come back with a with a uh, a razor knife, box cutter, and I will uh, cut around that light. So I got my razor knife. <clears throat> Is I just want to get it, get it close. I know it's kind of scary doing this, but it's really not that bad. A good sharp razor knife will help you. You don't, you don't want to start out with a dull one. And you just kind of get it close. I'm doing this now because I don't want to come back and do it because anything that's raised up off your boat will cause a pucker. So we want this to lay as good as possible. Okay, <clears throat> now we got to start. And you want to get all the air out of it that you can. So. We got up to here, I'm going to remove this piece of tape. I'm going to pull this back and just repeat the process. And you might have to get off to the side of it just a little bit so that you can see any kind of air bubbles. Just work it in. Just work it in the best you can. Try to get that top sealed in good. Keep working this down, work the top down. I was going back over this. I thought I had it pretty much done. But it's good to go back over it and just kind of go lightly on it. And just make sure all your top and bottom edges are still good. But also, when I got right here, okay, you hear that? That's a bubble. That bubble, I couldn't see it because it's on this colored piece of on the decal so I found that just by going back over so that's what you want to do now I know that I, can, I need to fix this which it'll be a simple fix I'm just barely going to pull that edge out just a little bit not a lot and I'm going to put a lot of pressure on it but I'm just going to push that bubble if I can 
that toward the top and out. And then, you gotta be real careful. You don't want to distort any of the icons on here. That's because no boats are exactly the same. But it's okay if you have any extra on the end down there, just take a razor knife and make a neat neat cut on the back of it and you can you can trim it up real good with no problem. I try to I try to do it all myself if I can. And this turned out pretty good. Uh, I don't have no big bubbles in it. You might find a spot where there might be a piece of dirt or there might be uh, like I've had this boat out a few times, so there might be a small gouge or a, a scrape or something. Before you, uh, when you're in the prep stage, you can go over and you can knock those down with a little bit of maybe thousand grit sandpaper or something like that. But, uh, or just heat them up and push them in, you know, with, with the, heat them up with a heat gun. But uh, this looks pretty nice. I think it's going to be all right. All we got to do now is the other side, but this will get you started. And guys, if, you want, if you're into saving money, and like I say, I, I'm no professional at this. This is only my third time doing it, but it doesn't. I can do a decent job at it with the tools that I have. And I'm sure there's a lot of tricks out there that, you know, professionals that do this every day that they could help you with. But like I say, it saves me money, and uh, and it looks good, and it will last. So go over to VFX Wraps, guys. Uh, they make a good thick. This this skin is just man. This skin is just really good and thick. Uh, all the the graphics that they use are really good. And if you just want something to spruce up your boat, you don't have to have you know sponsors and everything. But they have some really nice looking. Uh, some skins for uh, just with different designs on them. So I hope this helps you out. Uh, guys, give my channel a like and a follow. Uh, I'm not home a lot and I don't get to do a lot of editing, so my YouTube channel needs a little work, but I hope you guys find this and it helps you out. Uh, and uh, I'll see you next time.